Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the very first review that you're seeing here on my channel now that I'm all moved in at my new studio space here at USA Gundam Store. So I've got a bunch of stuff in the works for you guys, but I wanted to start off with our very first review to be something very special here. It is the new Apex model kit of the USA Gundam Store mascot character. So we're going to be taking a look at this today. It's got LEDs. The first small batch of these guys has arrived and those are going out to all the pre-orders, but we've We've got a whole bunch more on the way so if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself of course the link will be down in the video description below you can check that out but let's go ahead and check out the kit So I can tell you guys, this kit is the result of months and months of hard work for a lot of people. So it's so nice to finally have it here in stock and have it in hand. The box is the same size as your standard HG Gundam box from Bandai. If you've built a lot of those, you should have a good idea of that. The feel of the box is very nice. It's got a really nice matte finish over the front illustration and all the artwork on it is really nicely 3D produced images. Right on the side of the box, you got the Hobbynetics logo as well as USA Gundam Store Apex imagery there. On the side of the box, we have images of a painted sample build there and then some information about the kit and just some general information there for you guys as well as some links over here to all the different USA Gundam Store social media platforms and a couple more images here on the opposite side as well as credits for the Apex design designed by Corey and his Instagram handle there and then the Apex illustrations design and the box art design. All that work done by Terry T who also does the USA Gunham Store sticker designs for us. And the actual model kit featured in the photos was painted up by Chris Pabs so his social media is there for you guys as well too. Opening up the box here we got our bags of runners. You can see we got a few different colors here. Gray, clear blue, red, a big runner of white and then we're also going to have an included stand inside there and of course we have the instruction manual here as well now one thing i will point out to you guys that this is an instruction manual that will be included with this first small batch of kits but the instruction manual that will be coming with the much larger batch of kits that we're going to be getting uh, a little bit later will be a little bit different so if you are one of the lucky people getting this first batch you have a very limited item with this instruction manual which includes of course all the instructions for putting the kit together and a parts list is included in here as well. And the included stand here is going to be molded in clear and includes some screws there for stability. You've also got your bag of LED components here which will just be a couple of LEDs, a couple of wires and the battery casing there. No battery included by the way. The A runner is going to be here molded all in white for all the exterior armor pieces. The detail looks very nice and you got some good size on there especially those giant head parts. B runner is here in a nice medium gray. We got a small C runner here with a couple of pieces in red. The D runner is going to be our clear blue parts for the face, chest, and the thruster on the bottom of the kit. And then our two faceplate options are here molded in black on the E runner. And here's how the kit is going to look when it's all built up. Obviously it's not that complex of a kit so it goes together pretty quickly. Something similar to like a Haropla, Petite Guy sort of thing. A little bit more complicated than that obviously because it's got the LEDs in there as well. And you don't have too many really small parts, basically just like the small gray vents on the front and back of the body are going to be the smallest parts you have to deal with. Most of the parts are pretty good size so if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to deal with really tiny tiny parts, you don't have too much of that with this, so that's good. Obviously it's a fairly simple design but you do have some really nice detail around here and there, especially the way like the colors stack in on each other on making the ear parts is a really nice part of the construction. Now for the accessories, obviously you've got the base there and you've got multiple lengths, basically one short, one medium, and one long length. You can use them in any combination. If you want to stick with just the simplest, the lowest option, I just have the small piece there and I think that's actually a pretty good fit for that. But obviously if you want it to look like it's higher and like in like more of a flying pose, you could definitely change that. We've also got a set of option pieces here for the hands to give you a little bit holding hands. Here's where you might find the USA Gundam Store part separator to be kind of helpful just in popping these hand parts off there a little bit easier so you just swap that out and now the size of that is roughly about four or five millimeters and so it wouldn't really be useful for 144 scale accessories but something like a 100 scale beam saber handle might fit into there something a little bit larger otherwise you'd have to do some modification alternatively if you just remove that you just got this hole here which Looks about three millimeters, but it is slightly larger. So it's about like 3.5 millimeters. So again, if you wanted to use something from like a 30 minutes missions option set or something like that, some accessory weapons part, you're going to have to just maybe just wrap a little bit of tape around that just to make sure it's a tight fit. 
there in the hand, but you've got option parts for holding stuff. And then of course, just our option piece here for the face. Now in the future, there is going to be further option sets available for making other different expressions for the face, but for now we just kind of got just the standard one and then this happy face here. To remove this, it's pretty easy. You can see there's a little edge here along the side. So I find it's kind of helpful to get in on this side and go over to that side and just kind of wiggle that out. But again, this is where you might find the part separator tool useful, especially here. Now to get to the battery for the LED unit inside here, you have to pry this up from both sides. And again, I think it's very useful to use a part separator for this. Currently I've got actually the wrong size battery in there, but I'm making it work with the correct size battery in there. You won't have a problem at all. They just plug that back onto there. And then if you want to switch to the opposite face, other different face option, just pop it on. It's as easy as that. And so now you've got lights on there in the face. You also got this middle section lit up and this section down up underneath there is also lit up by the LED inside. So very nice. If you wanted to make this even brighter, one thing that you might try to do is paint some like chrome or reflective silver or something like that on the inside of this part here, just so that you get the light to be bouncing around inside there. We do have some articulation in this one. Very in nice point of articulation is that you can pop the head up and then that gives you a range of movement to tilt the head forward, back, side to side, anywhere. So if you want to have like a flying pose, you can have it tilted back or tilted forward. Obviously you can turn that as well and then you just pop it back down like so. The arms uh, are on a sort of polycap style joint there where that swings to the front a little bit like that. Otherwise it's just on a ball joint. As you can see, we do have a little bit of bend there at the elbow and it's a little bit tight, but you can bend that a little bit like so, just to get a little bit of bend there. Otherwise, that's it. Uh, as far as the articulation goes, no other really moving parts. Got a little gray vents here in the front and back that are separate pieces, some nice detail here around on the back side, around on the top, these detailed sections there. Nothing really in the way of seam lines except for on the forearms right there. So you got a little bit of seam line there, but other than that, this uh, main line going down the side of the head and the side of the body is just made up as a panel line. And this white part here on the bottom is a single piece, so you don't have any panel line or seam line or anything there on that. And then just also for a quick size comparison, here is how big it is going to be compared to your standard 144 scale HG Gundam kit. So as you can see, it's got a nice size to it as well. So there you have it guys, a very fun, simple little kit. It's nothing really too fancy, but it's really cool to just have a actual plastic model kit of our own mascot character here at US Gundam Store. And I think the design and the simplicity of it lends itself very well to custom versions. So I'm looking forward to seeing some really cool customs that you guys come out with. If those of you guys who do plan on picking up the kit, I'm sure probably at some point in the future, we'll probably have a contest related to this kit, but that'll probably be a little bit later on in the year. So if you guys are thinking about that, that if you would like to enter in that maybe keep an idea in mind and then once we announce the contest you guys will be able to enter into that contest with your custom apex kiss so just a heads up that that's truly coming at some point in the future but we'll keep you guys posted as to when we're going to be going ahead with that contest for the time being if you guys want to check out the kit definitely recommend it as just something fun and interesting and cool to build definitely will also of course support the store and definitely seeing your guys interest in this kit will help us to move forward with future plans and projects for making our own uh, just making more model kits not just of uh, our own apex character here but other cool stuff for you guys unique different mechanics model kits so we're definitely going to be looking into doing some more in the future look forward to those this is in a way sort of a like first test for us as far as like uh, model production so very much looking forward to hearing your guys's feedback on this and just really appreciate all the support with this first release and we'll see some more in the in the future so if you guys have any other further questions of course do feel free to let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to check out the kit of course the link to the us gundam store site will be down in the video description as well so check that out thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys